We've got the Hayward Goldline Pro Logic, and today we are replacing this transformer right here. Ordered it up off Pool Guy Supply. It's about $110. I think it was actually through Amazon, but it came through Pool Guy Supply. We had a lightning strike, and you can see, I don't know if this is what caused it or not, but all our valves, our electronic valves, stopped working afterwards that's why i haven't pulled off and the valves on there manually so i can turn them this is our solar this was our spa switcheroo and then also the chlorine cell stopped working as well it just stopped getting any input so swapping out the transformer on this thing is a pretty straightforward job you can see here is the new transformer right here with all the wires and just look at that wire, it's completely disconnected. That fuse might even be bad, I don't know. There's a lot of burning going on and this is a pretty new motherboard because we replaced it like a year and a half ago. So I'm gonna replace the transformer and hopefully that fixes all of our issues. Begin by making sure the circuits are all off. You don't want any power coming through this thing and unplugging these four wires, the white, gray, blue, and purple. They'll plug in right down here. And what I like to do is always take a picture of how they're plugged in beforehand so it's easy reference, but you can also see white, gray, blue, and then violet right there. And then this yellow wire goes to port right there where it says yellow, EP13. And then this other yellow wire, which is the melted one, goes to EP6 right in there, you can see yellow terminal as well. So now what we're gonna do is just reach back in there with a 5 sixteenths driver, take out the transformer, put the new one in, we should be in business. New transformer is installed, pretty straightforward. It's just those four screws. Make sure the right yellow wire goes to the right port. I'm going to real quick check this fuse. Glue it up to the light and you can see Yep, it's still good. I could also test the resistance on it, but I can get a visual on it. It's not that badly burned. So I'm just gonna put that back in. Then this guy, he just goes right in there with the standoffs going to there and there and there and there. A couple of them you can see stayed on. A couple of them came off with the Thing, then the cover goes back on with three hex head 516ths, which are laying right there. And then we'll test it and make sure everything works. Everything is back installed and the cover is on. And now valve three, that's the solar. I'm gonna press it. Yep, you can see the valve is turning now, so that's good. Let's turn the pump off and switch between pool, spot, and spillover. I'm going to go ahead and select spa. And you can see that's turning, which will go on here and be just like one of these things. And that one's turning as well. So that's good. Spillover will work the same way, I'm sure. And now let's test chlorinator. So we're gonna turn the filter on, go to menu. Try turning on the chlorinator. It might be a little too cold to turn it on. We'll see. Yeah, it's only 58, so it's probably not going to come on, but let's see. So the chlorinator is on filter delay. It's going to delay a little while until the filter gets up to speed and there's enough flow over the cell. Chlorinator delay is going to come off. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the solar right there so that it doesn't delay for the solar because then what it'll do is it'll delay for the solar uh, to go up to the solar and then back before it tries to stay on this unit. Okay, there we go. It says we've got 4,100 parts per million, 55 degrees, and it is generating chlorine. Boom, easy fix. About $110 from Amazon. Um, I'll leave the part number in the comments. You can also get it right here. G108501 3J 2 Tango. And look at that. And the old 
speed connector. Definitely, what's the problem? We're back in business.